Merry Christmas, my friend. I pray that you have a wonderful Christmas, and I send my blessings from my family to your family. There is a gift this Christmas that we need to open more than any other gift, and that is the gift from God. And I say gift, there are many gifts, and we have only opened up in our lifetime a fraction of these gifts of God's good. God offers us gifts, and we should accept them. And yet, often, if we look back on our life, we have not. And there comes a time in our mature spirituality where we decide, yes, I'm going to accept my God-given good. It is our part to seek, God to grant what we wish, our part to make a beginning, God to bring it to completion, our part to offer what we can, God to finish what we can't. Often, God will offer a gift, and we become inflexible. God has plans for us, but sometimes, if we're honest, we're the ones that resist. And when we do, we always pay a price for our short-sightedness by not having all the good that we could have in our lifetime. In John 16, 24, God promises that when we ask for things in God's name, God will respond. God will not withhold God's gifts when we ask for them, but ask for them we must. If we're wise, we'll ask for them, and we'll do it in an expectant way, knowing that the good will come from God. Are you a person who asks God to move mountains in your life, or are you expecting God to stumble over molehills? Many people, they just reserve God for the, the small things, the, the tiny little things in their life. Well, whatever the need you have, whatever the size of that need, God can help you meet it, big or small. Whatever the size of your obstacles, God can help you overcome them. Ask for God's help today. And here is the promise from God. It's John 16, verse 24. Ask in my name, according to my will, and God will most certainly give it to you. Your joy, listen to this, I love this. Your joy will be like a river overflowing its banks. God bless you again. Merry Christmas.